Suppose I conducted a study. Because I was interested in the question, if people with a lower education are more inclined to believe in extraterrestrial life. I drew a sample of 261 respondents, which I selected randomly from the Dutch population, and asked them a couple of survey questions. Let me focus on two of those questions. One was formulated as the following statement. The existence of extraterrestrial life is highly plausible. The respondent could choose between answering categories, agree, neither agree nor disagree, and disagree. Another question concerned the level of education of the respondent. Respondents could choose from three categories, high, middle, and low. The main question I want to answer is if my two variables are correlated. The first thing I need to do is assess the level of measurement of my variables. And as both variables are measured on an ordinal level, I will look at their contingency table. After all, a scatter plot, Pearson's R, and OLS regression analysis are only allowed if my variables are measured quantitatively. This is the contingency table. The categories of what I expect to be the independent variable, education, are in the columns. And the categories of what, according to me, is the dependent variable, believe in extraterrestrial life, are in the rows. This table does not yet help me to determine if there is a correlation between the two variables. To assess if there is a relationship, we have to compute the relevant percentages. I will compute column percentages here. So I proceed as follows. For every cell, I compute the percentage of cases in that cell compared to the total number of cases in the column in which the cell is located. We have 25 cases here. The total number in its column is 50. This means that we get 25 divided by 50 multiplied with 100 that equals 50%. In this cell, we have 26 respondents. The column total is 102, so we divide 26 by 102 and multiply again with 100. We get 25%. We do that for all cells, and this is the result. What do these percentages show us? Are people with a lower education more inclined to believe in extraterrestrial life? If we focus on respondents with a low level of education, we see that only 12% agrees with the statement that it's likely that there is extraterrestrial life. However, 63% disagrees with this statement. And if we look at respondents with a high level of education, we see the opposite. 50% agrees with the claim that it is likely that there is extraterrestrial life, whereas only 16% disagrees with this claim. These percentages indicate that not the lower educated, but the higher educated are more likely to believe in extraterrestrial life. You can only discern that pattern when you work with percentages or with proportions. So always compute percentages and never work with the original numbers. Otherwise, you will get strongly alien results.